Every day you hear about someone dying in a, in a drunk driving crash and it's horrible. And for one New Mexico family, the wounds of drunk driving are just opened again every time they hear a story about drunk driving. But now the former jail guard accused of driving drunk and killing two of their relatives is getting a day pass to attend his sister's wedding. They argue the terms of his release are already too relaxed. Caleb James joins us now to explain. Caleb. Hey guys, Justin Romero used to be a guard at the Rio Arriba County Jail, and back then police say he drove drunk and killed father Leo Gurule and his cousin Carlos Archuleta. Romero never posted bond. He was never required to because he was released to house arrest, and now he gets to go to his sister's wedding. It's okay, you know, it's okay for you to break the law, kill people, and you can still go out and have your fun. For April Duarte, it's been a struggle these many months. There's too many loopholes. There's definitely too many loopholes. A struggle to find peace in a process that's caused only pain. On June 19th, police say 27 year old Justin Romero, a Rio Arriba corrections officer at the time, was drunk when he hit a car head on, killing April's cousins, Leo and Carlos. Romero has been on house arrest since his first appearance, never held on bond, and on Monday, his attorney was in Santa Fe District Court with a request. Justin wants to go to a wedding. The judge said okay, and Romero's attorney, Dan Cron, explained that request to KOB by phone. Justin and his sister are very close, and she wants Justin to walk her down the aisle for her wedding because their father is deceased. Cron says Romero will only be allowed to attend the ceremony. He gets four and a half hours, including three hours of travel. He'll be subject to uh, testing, and I'm sure that he will be tested um, uh, for alcohol as soon as the wedding is over with. Would that make a difference to you? No. But Duarte okay. says it's a leniency okay. that sends a strong message to victims that they don't matter. It's heartbreaking that it just hurts the family more because we still don't have closure. Romero faces two counts of vehicular homicide and driving under the influence. His trial date has not yet been set. Tessa.